There is never a good time for a massive sewage backup in your basement, but when it's this cold, the inconvenience becomes infinitely worse. Folks living on Southern Avenue near the D.C. Maryland line are in for a rough few days to come. The sewage flooded their furnaces, and now they don't have water or heat. News 4's Jackie Benson spoke to residents tonight trying to stay warm and navigate this disaster. The bits of toilet tissue and other things floating in the water bubbling up through the sidewalk tell you all you need to know about what's been filling up the basement levels of some homes on Southern Avenue Southeast since Monday night. It began when someone noticed water on the floor of the bathroom in a finished basement about 9 o'clock. We grabbed the wet vac and, you know, cleaning up the water and it was coming from the shower. And um, around 9 o'clock we were like, Oh my God, it's coming in the back door as well. The dark, foul-smelling water continued to rise. These images show how it swamped upholstered furniture, electronics, appliances, storage closets, and precious family mementos. The homeowners are D.C. water customers. They called an emergency line and said something is really wrong here. No one showed up here till around 1020 this morning. And when it got here, the truck fell into the hole. This is an image of one of the first responding D.C. water vehicles. The, the ground just started sinking and the truck fell in. And it was like, okay, what's really going on? Then came the news no one expected. The sewage was coming from a damaged 10-inch diameter pipe that was actually steps over the line in Maryland and therefore the responsibility of WSSC water. We will work with these customers. We will get cleaning companies out here. We will do everything we can to help them through this situation. With utilities like this buried underground, there's, there's not a quick fix, there's not a quick answer, but we are working as quickly as we can. Most of these homes have finished basements, and unfortunately, most of the items in there are now a complete loss. In southeast Washington, Jackie Benson, News 4. That That's is awful. just <laughs> awful. Mm. Uh, I mean, gosh, you got to feel for all those families. Um, this inconvenient and dangerous weather will be with us for a few more days, but you can count on News 4 to keep you up to date. When we're not on the air, you can find updates from Storm Team 4 and also the latest closings and delays on our website and also in the NBC Washington app.